Hello YouTube, this is OJ Cubing, and today we have an unboxing from Cubes UK. Got the cube bag. Oh, feels like it's got some cube stands in it as well. A Moe cube stand. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a Wuwei 3M. Now I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this cube, so come back at the end of the video for it. And I've also got a Volk Elite, so let's check that out. Quite a nice box opening here. Looks like we've got some, I think, magnets in there. And there we go, this is the cube. Um, right from the get-go, it's actually really greasy on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, so the first thing I'm actually going to do before I even get into first turns is I'm going to wipe this clean. Okay, so it feels a bit less greasy now, so let's get into um, first impressions. Well, colour scheme looks good. I think it's just the same as a regular Volt. Green's a bit lighter, orange is a bit lighter, blue's a bit darker, red's a bit darker than I'm used to, but that's all fine. And of course, it's got a logo on it. Yeah, let's get into first hands. Okay, so first impressions is a really nice feeling cube. Definitely very smooth, um, more of a sandy sort of feeling than I guess. Um, this is my current main, the GAN 356X, and it's got a bit more of a smoother, sort of soft feeling i guess and this one maybe feels just a little bit papery but yeah really good feeling overall so um let's give it a scramble have a look at it yeah bit of a look at that and yeah um so i'm noticing some of the grease is coming out from the inside now as well which is a little bit annoying um so I will just be taking apart the entire cube and setting it up with Angstrom. But uh, yeah, it feels really smooth out of the box at least. So um, if you're not going to be doing any lubing to it, then yeah, I'd def this definitely feels like a good um, cube for that. So let's have a look in these boxes then. So there's one labelled A, one labelled B, one labelled C, one labelled D. So um, looks like D is a bit different as well because it's a different size to the rest of them. So maybe I'll leave D till last. Let's we'll go through in alphabetical order. Okay, looks like we got some different center caps in here and uh, let's take them out of that packet. And they seem to have these red magnets in them. Let's actually take this out and see what is in it. Um, looks like white magnets currently in the cube. So the way that um, the Volks magnet strength thing works is there are magnets on the inside of these center pieces and there's also magnets on this bit of the edge piece, and um, which means that you can change the magnet strength between the edges and the centers. But then there's also magnets between the corners and the edges that you can't change the strength of. Um, so we'll see how much of a difference it makes. So these ones are green on the bottom. Ah, and in the C, looks like we got some, some springs, just like the GES springs. So that's interesting. So, Here's something that gives something about the sh springs. Looks like the red is the hard spring, whatever well, hard spring means. Um, white is the moderate and then green is light. So I'm guessing that I'm going to be wanting to use the reds because I usually like the uh, stronger string, spring settings. And on the back of this card, it tells you about the magnet strength. So seems like red is the strong setting, white is the middle setting, and green is the light setting again. So I'm probably, again, going to be using the reds because I quite like the stronger magnets. So unlike the GES nuts, it seems that you still need to use a screwdriver to get the, uh, well, the screws out. And then underneath that, you have underneath the screw heads, you've got the, uh, the springs. So you need to take the, unscrew the screw completely out just to be able to change the uh, spring settings. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play around with this for a little while. Oh wait, I've just noticed. That is a sticker. Oh, that is so good. That means I don't have to try and take that off with sugar. 
There we go. I feel much better about that now. I always take my stickers off all my cubes, and that is because of blindfolded solving. Okay, so first thing I'm going to be trying out is the magnet strength. Now, with the white magnets in, that is the default one. Um, I noticed that the magnets are definitely, um, definitely there. I don't think this is very weak magnets at all. Um, you can feel that they have a bit of a click when you're solving, which I like. Um, and when you're just doing turns like this, you can definitely feel there's a click that's going on there. If you compare again to my Gan X, um, this is on the strongest magnet strength for um, the Gan X's magnets. And in my opinion, it's not actually as strong as these magnets in the Vocal Elite, um, which is probably good. This feels like actually what I might want to keep it on, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna try on the green next. Oh yeah, these are much lighter. God, it feels almost like a different cube now. It's um, it feels as if I've loosened it off or something. There's a much sort of significant difference. Um, I'm not much of a light magnet person myself, but I feel like this would be the sort of magnets that someone who likes it a bit lighter would be looking for. But for me, um, just not quite strong enough. I quite enjoyed the last one actually. Um, when we do turns like this, you can feel a little bit of a click, but, um, it feels a lot lighter. Um, just the cube as a whole just feels almost as if it's looser, in fact. Um, which is interesting that you can change that just by changing the strength of magnets between these two and not even doing anything between these two. So let's, uh, let's try out the strongest ones and see what those are like. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I definitely feel the difference, um... Probably not as much of a difference between the whites and the greens, um, but it's definitely stronger. I don't know which one I prefer actually at the moment. I might have to um, mess around with them. I might even, for once, actually change them up between them. Hmm. My first impression is that the magnets do actually, you feel every single click with every move. Um, so those who like really strong magnets are probably going to like it, but... Um, I think I'm going to stick with the whites for now. So that's the ones that I'm going to be putting in this cube. But I will say that it is a really easy design that allows you to swap out between them really easily. Um, I thought that the GAN had a, the GAN X had a good system where you push out the magnets um, by slotting them in there and the other one falls out. But you have to do that on 12 edges as opposed to only six centers. And these centers are really easy to get off just with a little finger now under there. So... Yeah, I think it's actually done a good job at making a really good interchangeable magnet design. The next thing I want to do to this cube is change out the spring settings, but obviously that's going to be a little bit difficult without actually taking the cube apart pretty much in its entirety. Um, so I think I'm going to go and set it up with my Angstrom setup first before I try that. Um, but also it's important to note that there's no way of having a non-magnetic version of this unless you buy it separately. Notice with the GAN X, you could put in essentially clear capsules which would make it non-magnetic but with this i mean for a start you've already got magnets between here and here um you can definitely feel that there's magnets but it feels again quite loose magnets so yeah i'm gonna be setting this cube up now so guys i've had this cube for a while now and i'm ready to make my full review of it and i'll be doing so over a couple of sub tens that i managed to get on camera it's quite cool to note that this one you see here is actually the first solve that I recorded of the session. Um, so yeah, this is a really good cube and I've been getting some amazing times with it. This cube is easily taken over as my main. I just really enjoy solving on it. And to be honest, it's got me back into solving through by through a bit more. I just find that it has a really uh, smooth and fast and crisp feel to it. And yeah, it just feels so much nicer than my Gan X, even though I still think of that as obviously being a good cube. But this one just seems to be so much better in my opinion. Literally within 24 hours of having this cube, I managed to beat almost all of my PBs. I beat PB Mina 3, average of 12, average of 50, 100, and 1,000. So yeah, pretty much everything apart from PB single and PB average of 5. And even then, since then, I have managed to beat my PB single with a 6.24 on this cube. In terms of final setup, I decided to stick with the clear magnets because I think that they are probably the most suited to my liking. And I've also changed to the red springs. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be sticking with the red springs. I might at some point change to the clear springs because it can kind of tighten up and may need a little bit more DNM to 
kind of keep it as fast as it would be, you know, without the tighter springs. But one thing I will say is that the cube does still corner twist, even with red springs, which is quite a surprising thing with the cubes these days. You don't tend to see that happening very often. So yeah, it is a little bit disappointing, but you know, I still think the cube is definitely the best on the market at the moment. So a couple of corner twists here and there isn't going to put me off solving on it. So yeah, that's about all I have to say about this cube. In my opinion, it's a fantastic cube, and I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get it from. And of course, if you use the discount code OJ5TV at checkout, you'll get a 5% discount off any order. So why don't you sit back, enjoy the last couple of solves, and I'll get back to you with the Wu Wei M review. Hello to everyone who's watched to the end of the video and also everyone who's just skipped to find out about the giveaway. So yeah, this is the Wu Wei M, I believe. Let's go crack it open. Oh, it's one of these cases. So yeah, this is a Wu Wei M. Again, it's very greasy, just like the Volcalite was. So I'm going to get rid of that. Now, I haven't really heard much about this cube, but I know that it's apparently a really good budget cube. And... Um, so this is mine to try, but I am also going to be giving away one. Now, by the time that this video goes up, I should already have a giveaway video, which I'll link in the description. Um, the giveaway is going to be running for two weeks. So unfortunately, if you click on the link and it says that the uh, giveaway has expired, then obviously I'm not going to be doing it anymore. So yeah. Um, wow, this actually, this is a really good cube. When Luke said he was sending me a budget cube for a giveaway, I was expecting it to be um, not so good. But actually, this turns really smoothly. Even with stock lube, um, it's really fast, actually. I don't really know what to say about this cube, actually. It's um, it's just got a really smooth, buttery feel to it, I guess. Um, and yeah, it's just... I. Don't even know how this classifies as a budget cube, really. Well, I say budget cube. It's um, it's a budget magnetic cube. So I think it's going for about fifteen pounds on Cubes' website, um, which some might consider budget because obviously there are others that are cheaper than it. But um, it's not the most expensive of cubes. I think this might be one of the best three by threes um, that you can get for. You know, only fifteen pounds really. I'm surprisingly yet to find a fault with it actually. Um, if this becomes my May, I'm going to be very surprised. So compare it to my Gan. Gan feels a little bit lighter, maybe a bit bit nicer to turn actually. To be fair. So yeah, if you're interested in trying to win one of these cubes and you're watching this video within a couple of weeks of its release date, then make sure to check out my. Wu Wei M giveaway, which again will be linked down below. Thank you so much to Cubes UK for sponsoring this video. Of course, you can find a link to their store in the description. Uh, they've made this video possible and they've made it possible to be doing the giveaway for you guys as well. Uh, that is it for this video. I uh, hope you all had a good one and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.